Hello, friends. How are you? It's your friendly neighborhood modern mystic, energy healer, divine light channel, stand up comic, solo show performer, performer, theater director, actor. I do a lot of stuff. How about you? Have you been trying to fit your big, broad, expansive self into a teeny tiny box for niche marketing reasons? <laughs> Have you? Stop it. Don't you want to feel more expansive and less contracted and less in a box? You can niche market, but not forget who you are. If you want to niche market, niche market, but don't forget who you are. You're all the things. I'm like 90% a dog mom, and the rest is just stuff I do to entertain myself. Great. This is your three card spread for this week. The recent past, we've been riding the wave, and we're going to hear what the hell that means, according to the brilliant and enchanted Colette Baron reed of the Enchanted Map Oracle Cards. The present moment, we're coming to life, and the outcome, which is, by the way, one of my favorite cards, I made a whole marketing campaign around this freaking card. That's how, look how fucking, st we, my amazing friend Meredith Loker, who, if you need a website made, message me and we'll connect you with her. <clears throat> Connected with Colette Baron reed and was like, can we use this image to make a poster thing? Cause it's so freaking stunning. And we did, and she said yes, and it was rad. Always remember to ask for what you desire because the worst thing that'll happen is they'll say no and you'll feel sad and then 10 minutes later, you'll be over it. Now, the outcome card is education. You know, this ring light, it just creates this little, look, see the ring reflect? I'm, I'm cranky about it. I'm not happy about it. Which reminds me, always let yourself have your feelings. We're doing teaching on the fly today. We're teaching in the moment. When you repress your feelings, they become sicknesses, injuries, illnesses, and then you end up coming to see a wizard lady like myself because the doctor people can't figure out what's wrong. That's because it's not a doctor people problem. It's spiritual and emotional. So half the problem most people have is not feeling like it's okay to have their feelings or after having their feelings to speak up for themselves or after having their feelings to set a boundary. So speak up for yourself, feel your feelings, set boundaries, and you won't have to see healer people anymore. What? Now, the recent past is the Ride the Wave card. So let's read what the hell that is. <clears throat> right now, success is easy and effortless. Ugh, ugh, how much do we love those moments? You can be assured that you're entering a time when you can ride the wave of abundance. The tide has turned, and you can put your surfing skills to the test, metaphorically speaking. Everything that you know, all your talents coupled with your hopes and dreams, will carry you forward. People and circumstances have come out of the ocean of potential and possibility to take shape in a wave of spectacular activity. Know that you're definitely on the right path. That is some clear language, Colette Baron Reed. Ride the wave. Now, to be fair, that is our recent past card. So that's just like been happening. All right, present moment. She's like, bitch, you're doing shit right. Miracles are happening. Things are coming out of the ocean of potential to carry you forward. Present moment. As a result, you're coming to life. Oh, God, I love this goddamn card. I love it. I'm in a, like, really tender place today, so I'm speaking more quietly because I've done so much um, EFT tapping work over the last four days that I'm, like, releasing a ton of emotional stuff on, like, some visceral third chakra lower back levels. So I'm very, huh, but I'm very excited. It's hard to, like, transmit excitement when you're, huh, so that's what's happening over here. When you look at your life, can you see how you've grown and evolved over time? Can you? Take a minute. Think about it. <sighs> Perhaps you've shed skins and identities and created new ones, or at the very least matured in your ideas about yourself and the world you inhabit. You know things take time. Biggest eye roll ever, but so fucking true. And spirit's timetable is rarely, <laughs> rarely in sync with your own. This card indicates that a long-held dream is beginning to show signs of life. You must try not to coax it along, Katie Rubin. Boy, am I a coaxer. Or shape it according to your desires. Spirit knows the best form for the manifestation of this dream, and your life can become even better than you could possibly imagine. Now is the time for reverence and awe. 
Allow the contours of your path to be carved by the hands of the divine. All you have to do is show up. I'm sorry, what better news could you get today? You know that I pull these cards right before I start recording, right? I just, I open the Akashic Records of everyone for whom this video will be a benefit. And I ask to be deepened into a spiritual connection with all, the group of you watching. This is like so supportive and positive. I'm very excited. Okay, education. Now, I don't know if you're like me at all, but I, whenever I hear like, you need to like get some more information. I'm always like, I don't want to know. <clears throat> I don't like research. I don't like sitting down and researching details. Like I like to be like that one and go, but it doesn't work well for me. So I'm well served to get an education about the things I'm pursuing, but I get cranky about it. What about you? Comment below. Are you good at research and take your time and educate? I wish I had some Virgo in my chart. Can any of you Virgos out there or people with strong Virgo placement send me some goddamn Virgo energy, please? I'm all wind and fire and water and nothing earthy and nothing about spreadsheets. None of it fucking Virgo spreadsheet light. Send me that. Okay. Education. Life, this is the outcome. So you've been success. Oh my God, everything's working. You're definitely on the right path. Moment. What? It's so fun to be alive. I can't believe how good it feels to exist. Outcome. Wisdom comes for, from participating in life, not just reading about it. This card suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what you seek, the direction to take, your circumstances, or the nature of your inquiry. Important information is coming. Now is the time to go to school. Ask a person who might know more than you, or find a teacher or a course of study so that you can more clearly understand what the next right action must be. Sometimes life unexpectedly sends you to an unfamiliar school, and you must learn by experience. Now is the time to be teachable, open to changing your preconceived notions, be a student and be willing to state the most powerful mantra of all, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Boy, am I in the middle of an I don't know yet. I'm always asking when I pull these cards for you guys, like, is this read for me? This time I'm like, is this read for me? And they're like, no. And I'm like, but I totally resonate with this freaking read. So I don't know what's happening. But I know this much. <sighs> How cool is it that you get like you're on the right path. You're definitely doing the right thing. Hooray. You get to come to life. All the potentialities of the universe coming out of the infinite realm of space. And you need a little more education. You don't know the answer, but that doesn't mean you're not on the tide of positive potentiality heading in the right direction. I love it. You know, there's a saying or they talk about in 12 step recovery that folks like myself who are recovering addicts, you know, part of how I became no 9.9% .9 out of 10. Nope. 99.9% .9 out of 100% of the reasons I am an energy healer now is because of like my history with addiction and trauma in this lifetime and many previous lifetimes. <sighs> addiction is a thing for which there is in my personal experience only an emotional and spiritual solution. There's no getting out of addiction without digging into the darkest corners of your soul, your spirit, your emotional body, your energy body, your past life stuff. It's just inherently emotionally and spiritually oriented, the healing path for an energy healer. Um, and one of the things they say about addiction recovery is that addicts, and I'm sharing this with you because you may not think of yourself as an addict, but I promise you, you've got something you're addicted to, whether it's your negative thinking or your codependent behavior with your mom or your enmeshment with your partner or your fear of looking bad or your desire to look good or your need to for power and control or Cheetos and donuts, if you're me, <laughs> whatever your addiction is. We all have a subtle form of something. Okay, maybe not everybody, but most people. They say to addicts that we are people who are so uncomfortable with unresolved problems that we are constantly trying to compulsively resolve stuff. We are looking for a compulsive resolution right now. So that's why, Katie Rubin, I don't like education and research because it means I have to slow down, expand my energy field, and keep learning before I leap. So if you find yourself in any area of your life being like, I'm just going to do it now, 
pr- maybe look at is there compulsivity in that choice and is your comp- compulsion based in a fear of having to feel a feeling because hint hint anything in life that you're doing addictive behaviors around is happening because there's something underneath that addictive behavior in your body not your mind your body and your heart and your soul that is so uncomfortable for you to be with that you refuse to be with it and must compulsively move into action or compulsively avoid it or compulsively eat about it or compulsively drink about it or compulsively think negative thoughts about it. So if you're ruminating, anything you're doing like this ah, is to avoid something in here, the column of light below your shoulders down to your pelvic floor that needs to be processed. So why the hell did I get on this? Oh, education, the outcome card here is our education card. So, you know, take your time, do your research, take some breaths. And when that energy comes up of like, oh, I just wanna know the answer now, feel into your body, into the vulnerable feeling that is underneath. I don't wanna do this research. I just want the answer now. And the irony is probably when you feel into that feeling and go into the depths of it in your body, it will break open into something new. And all of a sudden, the answers you're looking for start to show up. See, I always think I can compulsively take action in my life. And then the things I want come. It never goes that way. The way it goes is feel into the feelings that are underneath the drive to compulsively act and then watch miracles show up. You see how much easier that is? And it involves a lot less going outside. (laughs) It involves a lot of like, I can sit here and just be with my process, let it complete. And then all of a sudden I have the energy to take the action I need to take. And I'm organically in my body aware of what that action is. I'm not looking outside myself. Where is the answer? Where is the answer? I'm aware from inside of where the guidance and the direction is because I've processed my stuff. So... We don't have to resist needing education on a topic. We can be with what comes up when we need education on a topic. Okay, deep teachings, you're welcome. I love you. Um, Let's see, what do I have happening? My Sunday healing class begins again. We are doing a deep dive on the fourth step. So you do not have to be an addict or a, a codependent person to benefit from a fourth step. The fourth step uh, will teach you, oh my God, radical self-responsibility. And each week in my healing class, you get a very powerful divine light healing transmission from yours truly, psychic guidance on the topics that you have questions about every single week for two hours a week in a group setting on Zoom. This is a Sunday class. We start again November 28th and it's a seven week course. We will take two weeks off for the holidays, so you don't have to worry that it's gonna butt up against your holiday travels. We'll be off for two weeks. And um, November 28th, Sundays for seven weeks with two weeks off around the holidays, four step focus, divine light transmission to heal your shit every single week for seven weeks. Let's do it. I think now's the time. I love you, katierubin.com. When you're ready to book your session, hugs, love, light.